In 2021, my husband and I moved into our first apartment and it was definitely a fresh start. When I say a fresh start, I mean we owned basically nothing and that included cookware. So we picked up a large cast iron pan from Target, brought her home, and two years later, this is my review. Cast iron pans first started being used in 680 BC China and 2500 years later we still use them today with a very similar manufacturing process as they used back then. With that being said, they have stuck around for a reason. They can withstand really high temperatures, are made out of completely natural materials, they last forever, and instead of slowly getting worse over time, like most things that we buy in this world, they actually continue to slowly get better and more non-stick with every use, year after year. On top of that, they're versatile. You can bake some pan pizza, sear a ribeye, scramble some eggs, bake some cinnamon rolls, and literally so much more. And on top of all of that, when you cook with cast iron, some of the iron from the pan's materials actually transfers into your food, upping your iron intake without you even having to try. Built-in supplements, anyone? At this point, I bet you're asking, what's not to love? But you should know that not all cast irons are created equal. Some struggle with being non-stick, some struggle with heat retention, some are very heavy, some are very expensive, and some are just made poorly. So what about Lodge? I am so glad you asked. Lodge is a very popular choice for cast irons and it's sold in a lot of major stores around the US like Target, Home Depot, REI. It's all made in the US and the company has actually been in the cookware business since 96. 1896. On top of that, they have a very reasonable price point compared to a lot of their competitors, which is actually a pretty impressive feat since they are completely manufactured in the US and that tends to be more expensive. I actually didn't know all of this when I bought mine, I just knew that it was non-toxic, affordable, and right in front of me. So I bought the 13 inch skillet. Just so much room for activities in that one, like cooking steak and searing vegetables. The pan itself is pretty heavy. I've read that compared to other brands, it is on the heavier side, but it's not unmanageable and it does make it feel very sturdy, so I'm not really complaining about that. The heat retention is great on it, no complaints there, and it's also pretty good about being non-stick. It can cook eggs without having them stick to the bottom of the pan, fry up potatoes without any problems, and it even does pretty well with pot stickers, surprisingly, which are notorious for sticking to pots, hence the name. We also had purchased a green pan set at the time and the cast iron ended up being more non-stick than those pans in the long run. And let me tell you, two years later, those green pans are in the trash and the cast iron is better than it was when I bought it. So that's something to think about as well. Honestly, we mostly use our cast iron to cook meat though. I don't really know why. It just does a great job at browning it and I guess I don't think about it for other jobs as often unless it's a big job that needs a lot of space because it is such a large pan it can cook a lot of food at once but my husband especially loves searing our steaks in it because it gives such a nice crust to the steak and he can also finish the steak by throwing it into a 500 degree preheated oven uh, well a lot of other pans would not be able to handle those temperatures I'd say cleaning wise, it's pretty easy to clean for the most part. Sometimes food will get stuck on there and usually I'll either let it sit in soapy water while I wash the rest of the dishes and then do it last and then it's better. Or if it's a really stubborn job, you can boil some water in the pan for a few minutes and that will help the food come up and unstick. Sometimes we even add salt to the water and then that tends to help a little bit more. But after boiling the water in it, the food that's stuck to the bottom usually comes out pretty easily and we don't really have a problem with it. Another benefit is that contrary to popular belief, the lodge pans are safe to use with dish soap. Uh, they just need to be dried out and oiled after each use. When I bought my pan, it came with a silicone handle cover, but I found it to be really annoying actually. It was always slipping around and if anything, I felt like the pan was gonna fall out of the cover and just crash. Ground beef everywhere. So I actually ended up throwing it away. Maybe it would be better on their smaller models, but on the 13 inch, I just feel like the pan is way too heavy and the silicone cover does not do it for me at all. However, because the heat retention is good and the whole pan is made out of the same material, you do have to definitely use some oven mitts or something similar before you touch the pan because the handles do get very hot, even if you're just cooking on the stove. The surface of the pan is relatively smooth, but I am hoping that it will get smoother with time. 
Growing up, my parents only used cast iron pans in their house. And there was one pan in particular that was so well seasoned and so well used that it had lost all of the abrasiveness on the surface of the pan and it was a completely smooth and glossy surface. We called it the egg pan because it was the only one anyone would ever attempt to cook eggs with because it always did the best job and was always the most non-stick. But it was also 20 years old. And like I said, these pans do tend to get better year after year. So my hope is that one day my lodge pan will evolve into that egg pan. And as someone who did grow up using such old, well-seasoned, non-stick cast iron pans, it's hard not to compare my current cast iron to that. But cast iron seasoning just takes time and repeated cooking. And if you care for your cast iron pans properly, you can literally end up with a pan that lasts generations. I think that's so cool. But the very first thing that you need to learn how to do is season it. So make sure to watch that video right here next where I go over the entire seasoning process and everything you need to know about caring for your lodge pan so that your pans can last you a very long time. Hit that subscribe button for more tips on simpler living, biblical femininity, and the art of homemaking. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next one.